Hey guys, the channel is finally here. Let's get into it. <laughs> Off the... <laughs> Not shared by gift. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. For today's video, we are going to be reacting to my first YouTube video. <laughs> oh, this video is like, hold on. Don't know why this... For well, today's video, we are going to be reacting to my first YouTube video, which is a four-year-old YouTube video. Almost, okay, yeah, it's just past four years now, yeah, since I've started YouTube. So, it's going to be a sight. It's definitely going to be an experience in terms of the editing, in terms of the quality, in terms of... Uh, I'm just not looking forward to this torture, but I have to sit through it for you guys. <laughs> the video still is up on my channel. It's not locked away. It's not hidden because I also like to remind myself where I started and like where, you know, how far I've come because bro, <laughs> yo. We've come a long way. We have come a very long way, bro. Like, it's, uh, yeah. Mm. We've come a ridiculously long way. And I'm proud of that and I'm happy about it. But just going down memory lane is kind of scary for me, but let's do it. Let's, let's, let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna screen record because I'm gonna watch on my iPad. Hopefully I have enough storage on my iPad to do all this. Hopefully it just doesn't die on me. I've got audio on my iPad and on my uh, on my camera, so no excuses, no excuses. I just hope it doesn't stop screen recording and this this is just let's start, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm so scared to do this. <laughs> yeah, guys. This is torture. This is torture. Hey guys, the channel is finally here. Let's get into it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You know what? It's it's a bit too early to. Let me use those frames, bro. The channel is finally here, baby. <laughs> After months and months of procrastinating and being busy, you know, um, a lot of my friends, yeah, a lot of my friends actually did ask me to, you know come onto this platform and share my gift. Share my gift. So this is me. <laughs> Not share by gift, but the outdoor share. My friends, my friends like had been telling me that I need to start YouTube. Not just my friends, but like my Instagram followers were also just on some, dude, you need a YouTube channel. You need to start YouTube. And I was like, you know what? I was finally convinced. I was finally convinced then. Yeah. Hello everybody, my name is The Transitions! Is the transitions are insane, look at that. So this is me. Hello everybody, my name is Bukse Mongezi Chafta. And um, I go by Bukse Chafta on all my socials. But on YouTube it's called Styled by J. The reason it's called Styled by J. Um, so, I just want to give you guys a backstory on how this camera is actually set up on, because this is my mom's room. This was my mom's room and this was like on the, I don't know what you guys call it, but we call it a dressing chest. <clears throat> so like it has mirrors and like you can open the mirrors and put like all your stuff, like your 
lotions and your whatever whatever and then there's there's like drawers where you can open and put like clothes or like underwear or like whatever so i was putting on like i propped it up there and then i think my phone was like stacked on books i think my phone was stacked on books or i don't know how i set it up but like it was basically like just on a pile of things just to like get it to my eye level and stuff and then my youtube channel was called styled by jay for i think that year only because i wanted to focus on fashion i wanted to be i wanted to to basically be a stylist on youtube like show people how to style stuff and you know different ways to style an item and like how you can how you can what how you can stretch an item out in terms of like you can style it in many ways and make different out outfits and all of that so that that that's what my youtube was going to be about essentially but then i just realized that okay firstly my life just took a different route than i had expected um a lot of things didn't go the way i planned so i was forced to i mean i think i took a break from youtube i think i posted like two or three videos and then like that's when like life just completely surprised me so i took a break from youtube and then when i came back it just was never the same it was never the same um i think that's why i'm still not monetized it wasn't the same in terms of views it wasn't the same in terms of engagement like i feel like people got tired because i mean i was gone for a while bro like life had knocked me down so bad so i was like like i don't have the energy for youtube right now don't have the energy for youtube right now and uh like they'll, they'll see me when they see me so when i came back it was a rebrand a very soon rebrand um decided to vlog my life um you know and incorporate fashion here and there so it turned into a lifestyle channel lifestyle and fashion focused channel instead of just a fashion channel because of life but we're not complaining I mean, we're here now and you know, it's good. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's why it's not called Star by J anymore. I think it was called Star by J for those first three videos and then that was it. That was that. Yeah, let's carry on with the video. Sorry for blabbing on. It's because um, I'm basically going to be your guys' stylist, um, showing you guys how to style certain pieces and uh, telling you what goes with what and what doesn't work in terms of your look um but my i'd say my style is minimal and by that i mean um like i try to wear the least amount of you know clothing to make a fit like um basically um, um, my outfit would be made out of top, pants and shoes, maybe chains or rings or something like that, yeah. Um, I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to style pieces of clothing, how to put outfits together. This reminds me of my outfits back in 2020. If I can find pictures, I will find a picture and show you like the atrocity the atrocity. <laughs> Oaks, high school was a time, hey? Sorry for the noise, but like like my complex is very like noisy. People at Libya are crazy, so. The atrocity of my, your Oaks, my wardrobe was very interesting. Throughout high school, like it was very, like, there's even like a challenge we did, like during COVID, um, a few mates of mine and me, you know, like that challenge that was very famous where like you guys are passing like a makeup brush or you guys are passing a piece of clothing, like those transitions where like it's, it was a fashion challenge. It was done like in 2020. Yeah, it was done like in 2020. So my friends and I decided to do a fashion one because a lot of people were doing like a makeup one where like they would use a makeup brush to like get ready and like do makeup before and after. So we decided to make it a fashion one where we'd use like anything, like a cap or a beanie, you know, and then like we transition into us, into our cool outfits. And the outfit I put together there, bro, was 
the outfit I put together there. So, <laughs> it was so interesting. It was so interesting. It was very interesting. But yeah, yeah. Like we clearly were doing something back in 2020 because people were eating it up, bro. Like my Instagram, Cockstad, people from my hometown, bro, were like eating it up. And to a point they were mimicking my friends and I. Um, like we put fashion on the map in Cockstad. We like, I mean, we put, how can I put it? But like, we made people want to get like, we made people interested in wanting to look good and look nice and like dress up, you know, and take pictures and <clears throat> look for cool locations for shoots and stuff like that. That's what we did. My friends and I did that, bro. Like that wouldn't have, that, that wouldn't be possible without me and my homies, okay? around look around you look at this we created this this didn't exist before we were here look around at the square i promise you right now we did this doesn't matter what anybody says they can say it's disrespectful okay we put cocks that on bro like we put it on on the map i might sound, sound cocky but it's true it is true okay it is true so yeah let's carry on watching. and how i put my outfit together and yeah uh, who my who inspires me and yeah um, I'll also be doing vlogs, yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, my lifestyle in general. Hey everyone, it's Georgia here. I think most of yeah. us can agree that our first impressions of Ubuse would definitely be, oh my gosh, why is this guy so tall and why does he look so mean? And Okay, so after, after that, that was basically me explaining what my channel is going to be about um, and then I got like a bunch of people in my life to sort of like explain who I am you know it's sort of like it's sort of like a get to know me but like from other people's perspectives um, so it was kind of nice for them to like it was kind of nice to hear from them what they think about me you know so I decided to include that that was like the last three minutes of the video um, I'm not sure how comfortable they are with being shown. <laughs> I'm not sure how comfortable they are with being shown right now, even though they still are on my channel. I'm not sure how comfortable they are being shown on this video. Um, but yeah, this is them four years ago. This is them in 2020. And yeah. Yeah, let's let's just carry on, I guess. You don't want to get to know them like there's so many different aspects to his personality that just make him so worthwhile in terms of getting hey guys, to know. Guys, welcome to Wusha's YouTube channel. Oh, my cutting also was just very off, very terrible. I'm sorry, guys, for the editing for this video, the one we're watching right now. It it clearly needed some work because she wasn't even done speaking and it was really cutting into the next person and the audio was overlaying you know like we we didn't know much back then we were just you know just doing and just starting basically trial and error my name is siam tyler and first of all bushi is a very charismatic person he is very entertaining so stay tuned for awesome content and believe me you are going to love it please 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 don't forget to subscribe. Hello guys, I'm Leo Peter and I'm going to tell you about Bootley. Bootley is a cool person in and outside school. And his uh, very Cozy boy, this is your guys' cozy that you guys are going crazy over. This is cozy four years ago. Standing in some cases and is very friendly. Oh, he can be he can be friends with everyone. But like not friends, he can be like someone to someone. If you get me. Bushle is a cool person and like everyone likes Bushle and is very fashionable like yeah Hey guys, welcome to Bushle's channel. I'm Sibu and I've known Bushle for a while now. I describe him as an intelligent person with a very gay fashion sense. He is a vibe and a half once you get to know him and you're guaranteed to have a good time when he's around. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and look forward to great content coming soon. Yeah, welcome to Bushle Jumpers. Um, channel. Sorry guys, I just want to check if I'm still screen recording. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Um, this channel is basically about fashion, lifestyle, you know, the usual. Um, like, Wush's 
passion for fashion. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, passion for fashion um, is what um, drove him to actually make this channel. Drove? Yeah. Yeah. So it is. If you guys are looking for amazing content, Bush is the guy, and if you're a fan of fashion and streetwear, this is where it's at. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys, I'm um, Liko Ndundu, Bushi's cousin. I'm here to tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. okay Stay tuned for more great content, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys for making it this far into the video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe because I have much more interesting content coming up. <gasps> what? That intro, the intro and the outro. Ah, uh, my days. My favorite thing in Shabini. They are my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I think I used to use InShot back then. Yeah, I must have used InShot and just very interesting, very, very interesting. Um, <laughs> yo, Oaks, wow, wow, wow. And that video has like 1.8, 1.8k views <clears throat> from four years ago. Let's see in the comments. Let's see what the lies were. Like, these comments were full of lies. First comment is like the quality of this video. Fire, fire emoji. Come on now. But I mean, I guess for, for the time, for the time, you know. Um, great start. Always seen your pics on Insta. Damn, you got fashion sense, bro. Looking forward to it, my guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was basically a lot of people very excited for the channel, bro. And then life just happened to happen. But yeah, folks, that's. That's my YouTube. <laughs> That's the first YouTube video out on my platform, on my YouTube, right now. Um, yeah, everyone, that's the first YouTube video I ever posted, ever, on my YouTube channel. I, I think I have I have posted a video before, but that was on another channel, and I decided to dis to delete that. I think so. I don't know. I'm not sure because like I had wanted to start a YouTube channel. I think two years before I actually started one, I think I wanted to start one in 2018 and then I just, you know, brushed it off and then it came back to me two years later to actually, you know, be like, you know what, let me just start it and I did. But yeah, guys, this is your sign to start where you are. It will not look great. Most definitely will not look great. But there's growth in that and yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's growth in that, and that's what we strive for, growing. You know, there's nothing better than, than growth, because no one knows everything. No one can do everything perfectly, you know. Um, yeah, that's all the advice I have for you, for taking from this video. You never know where it could take you, actually, also. Like, you, you never know where something you want to do could take you, other than where you want to go. Other than where you vision what you're doing taking you, it could completely, like it could do something completely different, but at the same time, get you where you want to go eventually. I don't know if I'm making sense, you know. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of my first YouTube video and what you guys think of my videos now. Let me know what the improvements you've seen are. Um, my improvements that I think I've seen are I'm more comfortable with the camera. I still say um a lot and I'm trying my best to not say um, but I've gotten better. I don't pause a lot in front of the camera and I think that's because I know what I'm going to say now. I used to just start videos and just, you know, start rambling without having a script or like an outline of what the video is actually about. And that would lead to me losing my train of thought and pausing and like, you know, causing those awkward pauses. And I think even though I still do have those awkward pauses a little bit, I'm able to like edit them out so that you guys can't see. That's another thing that's improved my editing. That's a very clear and obvious one. In terms of just chopping up and 
you know aligning audio with videos because that was just very very bad transitions have calmed down a bit that, that was a lot i think i saw a star one in there like that that's just i don't know i don't know maybe somebody still uses them but i don't think it's my editing style i think also like i've just managed to find my editing style and like which way i like editing and what works for me you know because also editing just is a tedious process for me editing is just a tedious process for me so i think i found a balance of making my videos look good but at the same time not taking up too much time editing because then i'm just gonna get tired and overwhelmed and bored and annoyed then end up not doing anything so i think i found a balance between that which is also going to make me want to film videos so i can push more content out for you guys because the biggest thing is editing bro and like transferring files right now just becomes a lot from my camera to my phone because i don't like using my laptop to edit because i can't can't use an hp um i I'm able to use a MacBook when editing. I don't. I know that's crazy because I've never owned a MacBook, but I can use a MacBook to edit. I've edited with one before, so this is why you guys need to watch these videos so I can get monetized and finally get myself a MacBook. So yeah, watch these videos, share them so other people can watch, so I can get more watch hours, so I can get monetized, so I can start earning from AdSense. Don't skip the ads once I start getting ads on my channel. So I can get myself a MacBook so I can edit and once I get once I'm able to edit more efficiently that means more content for you guys at the end of the day also thank you guys for supporting me all these years bro like it's been four years it's been over four years just a few months over four years because I started my channel in June 2020 let's actually just see let me just try and see yeah 31st of July 2020 that's when I posted my first YouTube video if I and you guys have been with me since and for those of you who are newer subscribers thank you still for still being here lucky for you you didn't get to witness the atrocity that was that video four years ago you guys get the nice stuff you guys get the good stuff but yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe I will see you guys in the next video